Will wild birds reject baby birds that have been touched by humans? No. Contrary to popular belief, birds generally will not reject hatchlings touched by human hands. The best thing to do for newborn birds that have fallen or have been pushed out of the nest is to locate the nest as quickly as possible and gently put them back. How do the excretory organs vary in different species? Many animals, such as sponges, jellyfish, tapeworms, and other small organisms, do not have distinct excretory organs. Rather, they rid their bodies of waste through diffusion. Larger, more complex animals require specialized, often tubular, organs to rid their bodies of waste. For example, flatworms such as planarians have tubules that collect wastes and expel them to the outside via pores. Segmented worms such as earthworms have nephridia, tubules with a ciliated opening, in each segment. Fluid from the body cavity is propelled through the nephridia. Wastes are expelled through a pore to the outside while certain substances are reabsorbed. Insects have a unique excretory system that consists of malpighian tubules. Waste products enter the malpighian tubes from the body cavity. Water and other useful substances are reabsorbed, while uric acid passes out of the body. Vertebrate animals have kidneys to dispose of metabolic wastes. Will two people with the same genes for a particular trait have the same exact manifestation of the disease? Penetrance is the term used to describe the probability that an individual with a given genotype will always demonstrate the matching phenotype. For example, a condition with 100% penetrance will be one where genotype always determines phenotype, 50% penetrance means that there is only a 50 to 50 chance of the genotype producing the characteristic phenotype. Myotonic dystrophy, an autosomal dominant genetic disorder, is an example in which there is reduced penetrance within a pedigree. In other words, some family members may have the trait while others may not. What is the meaning of the phrase ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny? Ontogeny is the course of development of an organism from fertilized egg to adult. Phylogeny is the evolutionary history of a group of organisms. The phrase Ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny originated with Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919. It means that as an embryo of an advanced organism grows, it will pass through stages that look very much like the adult phase of less advanced organisms. For example, at one point each human embryo has gills and resembles a tadpole. 
although further research demonstrated that early stage embryos are not representative of our evolutionary ancestors, Heckel's general concept that the developmental process reveals some clues about evolutionary history is certainly true. Animals with recent common ancestors tend to share more similarity during development than those that do not. A dog embryo and a pig embryo will look more alike through most stages of development than a dog embryo and a salamander embryo, for example. Who first won the Nobel Prize for work on animal behavior? Although there is no specific Nobel Prize for the study of animal behavior, the first prize to be awarded for the scientific study of animal behavior was awarded jointly in 1973 in the category Physiology or Medicine to Conrad Lorenz. 1903-1989, Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, and Nico Tinbergen, 1907 to 1988. Each ethologist had a main research area for which he was well known, Lorentz for imprinting behavior of birds. Von Frisch for the dance of the honeybees, and Tinbergen for aggressive behavior of sticklebackfish. How are hazardous waste materials classified? There are four types of hazardous waste materials, corrosive, ignitable, reactive, and toxic. Corrosive materials can wear away or destroy a substance. Most acids are corrosive and can destroy metal, burn skin, and give off vapors that burn the eyes. Ignitable materials can burst into flames easily. These materials pose a fire hazard and can irritate the skin, eyes, and lungs. Gasoline, paint, and furniture polish are ignitable. Reactive materials can explode or create poisonous gas when combined with other chemicals. Combining chlorine bleach and ammonia, for example, creates a poisonous gas. Toxic materials or substances can poison humans and other life. They can cause illness or death if swallowed or absorbed through the skin. Pesticides and household cleaning agents are toxic. What is ultrasound? Ultrasound is another type of 3D computerized imaging. Using brief pulses of ultra-high frequency acoustic waves. Lasting 0.01 second, it can produce a sonar map of the imaged object. The technique is similar to the echolocation used by bats, whales, and dolphins. What were the first vascular plants? The word vascular comes from the Latin word vasculum, meaning vessel or duct. It is believed that the first vascular plants were members of the division Rhenophyta.
which flourished about 400 million years ago but are now extinct. Members of the extinct genus Cooksonia, named for the paleobotanist Isabel Cookson. 1893 to 1973, were the first vascular plants to be identified. These plants were only a few centimeters tall. With water conducting cells present in their stems but without roots and leaves. How do skin cells keep your blood from leaking out? The skin is comprised of multiple layers of cells. The outermost layers are made of dead cells full of keratin. Sebaceous glands coat these dead cells with an oily secretion that makes them water resistant. However, they are not waterproof, about one pint of fluid from deeper. Tissues leaks through the skin surface every day and evaporates. This excretion is in addition to perspiration produced by excessive heat or strenuous activity. The very strong junctions holding the cells together, known as desmosomes, prevent large of amounts of fluid leakage across the skin barrier. The linkages are so efficient that the epidermal skin Cells tend to slough off in sheets rather than individually. Which mammal has the shortest gestation period? Which one has the longest period? Gestation is the period of time between fertilization and birth in oviparous animals. The shortest gestation period known among mammals is 12 to 13 days, shared by three marsupials. The American or Virginian opossum, Didelphys marsupialis, the rare water opossum, or Yapak, Chironectes minimus. Of Central and Northern South America, and the Eastern native cat, Dossi urus viverinus, of Australia. The young of each of these marsupials are born while still immature, and complete their development in the ventral pouch of their mother. While 12 to 13 days is the average, the gestation period is sometimes as short as 8 days. The longest gestation period for a mammal is that of the African elephant. Loxodonta africana, with an average of 660 days and a maximum of 760 days. Do fish drink water? Marine bony fishes such as tuna, flounder, and halibut drink sea water almost constantly to replace water lost by osmosis and through their gills. It is estimated that they drink an amount equal to 1% of their body weight each hour. An amount comparable to a human drinking 1.5 pints or nearly 3 cups. 700 milliliters of water every hour around the clock. The gills eliminate most of the excess salts obtained by drinking large quantities of seawater. The fishes excrete small quantities of urine that is isotonic to their body fluids. By contrast, cartilaginous fishes, e. G, sharks, and rays, 
do not need to drink water to maintain the balance of water. Osmotic balance, in their bodies. They reabsorb the waste product urea. Creating and maintaining a blood urea concentration that is 100 times higher than that of mammals. Their kidneys and gills thus do not have to remove large quantities of salts from their bodies. Freshwater fishes never drink water separate from ingesting food. These fishes are prone to gain water since their body fluids are hypotonic. Containing a lesser concentration of salts, to the surrounding water. They imbibe water through their gills to maintain the correct balance of salts in their bodies and excrete large quantities of diluted urine daily. It is estimated that freshwater fishes eliminate a quantity of urine equal to one third of their body weight each day. What are some examples of genetic engineering in plants? Genetically engineered plants include transgenic crop plants that are resistant to herbicides used in weed control. These transgenic crops carry genes for resistance to herbicides such that all plants in a field are killed with the exception of the modified plant. Transgenic soybeans, corn, cotton, canola, papaya, rice. And tomatoes are used by many farmers in the United States. Plants resistant to predatory insects have also been genetically engineered. What are other examples of lichens assessing pollution? Lichens are used to assess radioactive pollution levels in the vicinity of uranium mines. Environments where nuclear-powered satellites have crashed. Former nuclear bomb testing sites, and power stations that have incurred accidents. Following the Chernobyl nuclear power station disaster in 1986, Arctic lichens as far away as Lapland were tested and showed levels of radioactive dust that were as much as 165 times higher than had been previously recorded. Do red blood cells function the same way in humans and insects? Insects don't have blood like ours, instead, their bodies contain a fluid known as hemolymph. Their hemoglobin is not concentrated in cells within the hemolymph. But rather is found floating in the hemolymph. An insect's hemoglobin still carries oxygen. But it is somewhat smaller than that found in mammals like humans. Squids, octopi, and crustaceans also have oxygen carrying molecules in their plasma. But their bodies use a copper based molecule known as hemocyanin to carry oxygen instead. What are the basic steps to transfer bacteria using aseptic procedures?
First, plug the test tube or flask with cotton or plastic cap. Sterilize the inoculating loop or needle, tool used to transfer the bacteria. By heating the wire in the flame of a Bunsen burner or alcohol lamp until red hot. Remove the cotton plugs from the test tubes or flasks. And briefly flame the mouths of the test tubes or flasks. Pick up the organisms to be transferred by dipping the inoculating loop or needle into the liquid culture or touching the growth lightly. Transfer the culture to a new test tube by dipping the loop gently into the broth or drawing it across the agar. Pass the mouths of the tubes through the flame again and then. Reinsert the cotton plugs to prevent the entrance of other microbes. Heat the inoculating loop or needle again to destroy any remaining organisms. The procedure to transfer a sample to a petri dish is similar except the culture is streaked along the agar in a pattern to isolate the bacteria on the petri dish. What is the difference between catabolic and anabolic reactions? Catabolic and anabolic reactions are metabolic processes. Both the capture and use of energy by organisms involves a series of thousands of reactions, metabolism. A catabolic reaction is one that breaks down large molecules to produce energy, an example is digestion. An anabolic reaction is one that involves creating large molecules out of smaller molecules. An example is when your body makes fat out of extra nutrients you eat. What methods are used to estimate wildlife populations? Since it is usually impossible, and often impractical, to count all individuals in a population. Researchers use a variety of sampling techniques to estimate population densities. One method is to count the individuals in a certain area. The larger the number and size of sample plots, the more accurate the estimates. Population densities may also be estimated based on indirect indicators such as animal droppings or tracks, nests, or burrows. Is the same strain of yeast used to make lager and ale beers? Two common strains of yeast are used to ferment beer. Saccharomyces carlsbergensis and Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces carlsbergensis, also known as bottom yeast, sinks to the bottom of the fermentation vat. Strains of bottom yeast ferment best at 42.8 to 53.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 to 12 degrees Celsius, and take 8 to 14 days to produce lager beer. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, also known as top fermenting yeast, is distributed throughout wort and is carried to the top of the fermenting vat by carbon dioxide, CO2. Top fermenting yeast ferments at a higher temperature, 57.2 to 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit 14 to 23 degrees Celsius, 
over only 5 to 7 days. Top fermenting yeasts produce ales, porter, and stout beers. What are the main components of chloroplasts? Chloroplasts have outer and inner membranes, which are in close association with each other. They also have a closed compartment of stacked membranes called 46 granite that lie inside the inner membrane. A chloroplast may contain 100 or more grana, and each grana may contain a few to several dozen disc-shaped structures called thylakoids that contain chlorophyll on their surface. The fluid that surrounds the thylakoid is called the stroma. What is the Darwin Station in the Galapagos Islands? The Charles Darwin Research Station in the Galapagos Islands is a biological field station that serves as a center for research on the flora and fauna of the islands. Work on the station, which is located on the island of Santa Cruz, indefatigable on the British Atlas, began in 1960, two years after the formation of the Darwin Foundation. The Darwin Foundation, UNESCO, and the Government of Ecuador were the primary contributors to the building of the station. Although many other organizations and individuals helped as well. How do prions work? Scientists have not discovered exactly how prions work. Current research shows that prions accumulate in lysosomes. In the brain, it is possible that the filled lysosomes burst and damage cells. As diseased cells die, the prions contained in the cells are released and are able to attack other cells. What is cDNA? Complementary DNA, cDNA is single-stranded DNA that is complementary to a certain sequence of messenger RNA. It is usually formed in a laboratory by the action of the Enzyme reverse transcriptase on a messenger RNA template. Complementary DNA is a popular tool for molecular hybridization or cloning studies. What is meant by heterozygote advantage? Heterozygote advantage, also known as balancing selection, arises when there is a survival. Selective, advantage for hybrids, heterozygotes. As compared to that of either homozygous recessive genotype or homozygous dominant genotype. Some diseases are lethal only in the homozygous state.
What is nest parasitism? From an evolutionary perspective, if breaking the rules is to your advantage, you should do so, as long as you don't get caught. Taking advantage of another's hard work has been documented in a number of species. Most notably the brown-headed cowbird. Cowbirds find food by following large mammals, e. g. cows, across open country and eating the bugs disturbed by their hooves. Additionally, when it comes time to reproduce. Female cowbirds simply fly off into nearby woods and lay their eggs in the nests of other species. Which then raise the cowbird offspring with, or instead of, their own. This nest parasitism is thought to have contributed to the population decrease of species like the eastern bluebird. Several other species are well known for this behavior. Most notably the cuckoo, giving rise to the expression a cuckoo in the nest. Describing someone with a hidden agenda or who is operating under false pretenses. How do animals know which prey to eat? Once an animal has located a potential food, it must decide whether to consume or ignore it. In field studies, behavioral ecologists have observed that animals usually select food that will yield the higher rate of energy return for the energy spent capturing the food. Very few animals actually eat all of the food they are capable of consuming. This is known as optimal foraging strategy. As an example, crows that live in the Pacific Northwest often find little neck clams. Which they drop on rocks to crack the clams and then eat them. However, the crows do not eat all the clams they locate. They only eat those clams that are larger and thus contain more energy. How does sickle cell anemia affect the function of red blood cells? The genetic defect in sickle cell anemia is a mutation in one of the polypeptide chains that comprise the hemoglobin molecule. The abnormal molecule produced in sickle cell anemia causes a change in the shape of affected red blood cells. The disease morphs a typically rounded red blood cell disc into a crescent or sickle shape. The abnormal red blood cells affected by sickle cell anemia are rigid and are more likely to clump together. Because of their tendency to group, they are more prone to sticking to the walls of blood vessels. They can even block the blood vessels themselves. Because of this, the hemoglobin molecule isn't able to carry oxygen as well as the cells need it to. How are cell structures divided during meiosis? Meiosis is just part of the larger process of gametogenic production that occurs in either the ovaries or testes. 
during sperm formation, spermatogenesis. The cells that eventually become mature sperm go through two successive meiotic divisions. This results in four haploid spermatids that will develop into mature sperm cells. The sperm are then reconfigured into a cell that is specialized for one thing, fertilizing an egg. The mature sperm is basically a nucleus with one set of chromosomes. Mitochondria, and flagellum for propulsion. In humans, the cells that will develop into mature eggs are present. In the ovary before 60 the oogenesis, egg formation, ever occurs. Immature eggs, oogonia, remain in a stage referred to as meiosis I until they mature during puberty. During the stage of meiosis II, oocytes are ready to be released. But will not fully complete the meiotic process until after fertilization takes place. During the progression from one diploid oocyte to four haploid cells. Cytoplasm is shunted unequally to only one cell. The end result is one large mature ovum and two or three very small haploid cells called polar bodies. Why are some species more commonly used for genetic studies than others? Species with a relatively small genome, with a short generation time from seed to seed. And that are adaptable to living in captivity are appealing as experimental organisms. Even though many of these species bear little physical resemblance to humans. They do share part of our genome and so can answer some of the questions we have about genetic inheritance and gene expression. What is the largest leech? Most leeches are between 75 in and 2 in, 2 and 6 centimeters, in length, but some medicinal leeches reach 8 in, 20 centimeters. The giant of all leeches is the Amazonian Hemantiria gilanii, from the Greek term hymateros. Meaning bloody, which reaches 12 in, 30 centimeters, in length. What is the origin of the term cell? The term cell was first used by Robert Hooke, 1635-1703, an English scientist who described cells he observed in a slice of cork in 1665, using a microscope that magnified 30 times. Hook identified little chambers or compartments in the cork that he called celluli. A Latin term meaning little rooms because they reminded him of the cells inhabited by monks. It is from this word that we got the modern term cell. He calculated that one square inch of cork would contain 1,259,712,000 of these tiny chambers or cells. How are seedless grapes grown?
Since seedless grapes cannot reproduce in the manner that grapes usually do, i.e., dropping seeds. Growers have to take cuttings from the plants, root them, and then plant the plant cuttings. Seedless grapes come from a naturally occurring mutation in which the hard seed casing fails to develop. Although the exact origin of seedless grapes is unknown. They might have been first cultivated thousands of years ago in present-day Iran or Afghanistan. Currently, 90% of all raisins are made from Thompson seedless grapes. How are chromosomes assembled? Chromosomes are assembled on a scaffold of proteins, hist ones, that allow DNA to be tightly packed. There are five major types of hist ones, all of which have a positive charge. The positive charges of the hist ones attract the negative charges on the phosphates of DNA. Thus holding the DNA in contact with the hist ones. These thicker strands of DNA and proteins are called chromatin. Chromatin is then packed to form the familiar structure of a chromosome. During mitosis, chromosomes acquire characteristic shapes that allow them to be counted and identified. What are vitamins and minerals? A vitamin is an organic, non-protein substance that is required by an organism. For normal metabolic function but cannot be synthesized by that organism. In other words, Vitamins are crucial molecules that must be acquired from outside sources. While most vitamins are present in food, vitamin D, for example, is produced as a precursor in our skin and converted to the active form by sunlight. Minerals, such as calcium and iron, are inorganic substances that also enhance cell metabolism. Vitamins may be fat or water soluble. Recommended amounts of vitamins are to ensure normal enzymatic function, and excessive intake can be toxic. What is the difference between type I and type 2 diabetes? Diabetes mellitus is a hormonal disease that occurs when the body's cells are unable to absorb glucose from the blood. Type I is insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, IVDM. And type 2 is non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, NIDDM. In type I diabetes there is an absolute deficiency of insulin. In type 2 diabetes insulin secretion may be normal. But the target cells for insulin are less responsive than normal. What is gas chromatography? Gas chromatography, specifically gas liquid chromatography, involves a sample being vaporized and injected onto the head of the chromatographic column. 
The sample is transported through the column by the flow of inert, gaseous mobile phase. The column itself contains a liquid stationary phase that is adsorbed onto the surface of an inert solid. How many kinds of sharks are there and how many are dangerous? The United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization lists 354 species of sharks. Ranging in length from 6 in, 15 centimeters, to 49 feet 15 meters. While 35 species are known to have attacked humans at least once. Only a dozen do so on a regular basis. The relatively rare great white shark, Carcharodon carcharias, is the largest predatory fish. The largest specimen accurately measured was 20 feet, 4 in, 6.2 m, long and weighed 5,000 pounds 2,270 kilograms. What is scientific creationism? Scientific creationism is an attempt to promote the teaching of creation theory in schools. By designating creationist theory scientific, proponents hope to gain equal time with evolutionary theory in school curricula. Creationist theory proposes that species observed today are the result of intelligent design or special creation rather than the result of the effects of natural selection. What is centrifugation? Centrifugation is the separation of immiscible liquids or solids from liquids by applying centrifugal force. Since the centrifugal force can be very great, it speeds the process of separating these liquids instead of relying on gravity. How has the classification of bacteria evolved? Early systems for classifying bacteria were based on structural and morphological elements displayed by the organisms. I.e., shape, size, and the presence or absence of several elements capsules. Photosynthetic or non-photosynthetic capabilities, flagella, endospores, etc. Other approaches relied on differential stains such as the Gram stain. More recently, genetic and molecular characteristics have been employed to reflect true evolutionary relatedness. Which scientific disciplines provide evidence for evolution? Although information from any area of natural science is relevant to the study of evolution, there are several in particular that directly support the work of Darwin and Wallace. Paleobiology, geology, and organic chemistry provide insight on how living organisms have evolved. Ecology, genetics, and molecular biology also demonstrate how living species are.
currently changing in response to their environments and therefore undergoing evolution. Which antibiotic is considered the last resort for treating? Resistant strains of staphylococcal and enterococcal infections? Staphylococcal and enterococcal infections often have to be treated with vancomycin. As this antibiotic is lethal to these resistant strains of bacteria often found in hospitals. Until recently, vancomycin was effective against these resistant pathogens. However, in the late 1980s a vancomycin resistant strain of Enterococcus developed and began posing a threat to hospital patients and the healthcare community. Researchers continue to chemically alter the vancomycin molecule to help it remain effective as the antibiotic of last resort. How do antibiotics differ from antibacterials? Antibiotics and antibacterials both interfere with the growth and reproduction of bacteria. Antibiotics are medications for humans and animals. Antibacterials, found in soaps, detergents, health and skincare products, and household cleaners, are used to disinfect surfaces and eliminate potentially harmful bacteria. How could a human be cloned? Nuclear transplantation or somatic cell nuclear transfer is used to move the cell nucleus and its genetic material from one cell to another. Somatic cell nuclear transfer may be used to make tissue that is genetically compatible with that of the recipient and could be used in the treatment of specific disease. Or, if the material is moved to an egg cell lacking its own nucleus, the transfer could result in the formation of a clone embryo. How do scientists differentiate between homology and analogy? Scientists can determine whether a trait is homologous or analogous by comparing it in species. Thought to be of common origin and contrasting it to traits of unrelated species in similar habitats. What are the parts of a flower? In a generalized flower, there are four main parts. Sepals found on the outside of the bud or on the underside of the open flower. They serve to protect the flower bud from drying out. Some sepals ward off predators by their spines or chemicals. Collectively, the sepals form the calyx. Petals serve to attract pollinators and are usually dropped shortly after pollination occurs. Collectively, the petals form the corolla. Stamen the male part of a flower.
consists of a filament and anther where pollen is produced. Pistil the female part of a flower. Consists of the stigma, style, and ovary containing ovules. After fertilization, the ovules mature into seeds. If a flower has all of these parts, it is called complete. If it lacks any of them, it is called incomplete. In terms of sexual reproduction in flowers, only stamens and pistils are necessary. Flowers with both structures are called perfect. But if they lack either one of the other they are called imperfect. What is a green building? It is estimated that just building the typical wood-framed house can use enough wood to denude an entire acre of forest while generating up to 7 tons of waste material. Green building involves an integrated approach to design and construction that minimizes resource waste while emphasizing energy conservation and efficiency. Some additional approaches to green building involve solar, water heating systems and more efficient heating and cooling methods. What is normal body temperature? Normal body temperature is the acceptable temperature for an animal. The following chart identifies normal body temperature for a variety of ectotherms and endotherms. What are simple stains? Simple stains highlight an entire microorganism so that cellular shapes and basic structures are visible. Simple stains commonly used include methylene blue, carbolfuxin, crystal violet, and safranine. A stain is applied to a fixed smear for a certain amount of time and then washed off. And the slide is dried and examined. How do aseptic procedures prevent contamination? The goal of aseptic procedures is to keep the organisms used in an experiment separate from the millions of other organisms in the environment. These procedures focus on the way to transfer organisms from test tube to test tube. From test tube to flask or petri dish, and from petri dish to petri dish or flask. What is an atom? An atom is the smallest unit of an element, containing the unique chemical properties of that element. Atoms are very small several million atoms could fit in the period at the end of the sentence. In other words, how many different species are there within a habitat?
Finally, measuring ecosystem diversity is an attempt to keep track of the loss of different types of habitats. This in turn gives scientists a sense of what types of species are going extinct at any given time. What is the NIMBY syndrome? NIMBY is the acronym for Not In My Backyard. It refers to major community resistance. To construction of new incinerators, landfills, prisons, roads, and so forth. Nymphy is not in my front yard. What is a gene chip? A gene chip is part of the process of microarray profiling, it is also known as a biochip or a DNA chip. It is about the size of a postage stamp and is based on a glass wafer. Holding as many as 400,000 tiny cells. Each tiny cell can hold DNA from a different human gene and can perform thousands of biological reactions in a few seconds. These chips can be used by pharmaceutical companies to discover what genes are involved in various disease processes. They can also be used to type single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs which are base pair differences that are found approximately every 500 to 1000 base pairs in DNA. There are more than 3 million SNPs in the human genome. They are very important in DNA typing because they represent about 98% of all DNA polymorphisms. What is the life cycle of a typical fungus such as the black bread mold, Rhizopus nigricans? The life cycle of black bread mold, Rhizopus nigricans, is characteristic of the members of the phylum Zygomycota. This fungus has a period of sexual reproduction and a period of asexual reproduction that occurs more frequently. During sexual reproduction, there is a fusion of gametangia. The resulting zygosporangium forms a thick coat that awaits favorable conditions in order to conduct further development. When conditions are favorable, the zygosporangium germinates into a sporangium. During asexual reproduction, spores are produced in the sporangium and then dispersed. What is the value of fossils to the study of evolution? Fossils are the preserved remains of once living organisms. The value of fossils comes not only from the information they give us about the structures of those animals. The placement of common fossils in the geologic layers also gives researchers a method for dating other, lesser known, samples. What period of time has come to be known as the Golden Age of Microbiology?
The era known as the Golden Age of Microbiology began in 1857 with the work of Louis Pasteur. 1822-1895, and lasted about 60 years. During this period of time, there were many important scientific discoveries. Joseph Lister's, 1827-1912, practice of treating surgical wounds. With a phenol solution led to the advent of aseptic surgery. The advancements Paul Ehrlich, 1854-1915, made to the theory of immunity synthesized the magic bullet. An arsenic compound that proved effective in treating syphilis in humans. In 1884 Elie Mechnikov, 1845-1916, an associate of Pasteur, published a report on phagocytosis. The report explained the defensive process in which the body's white blood cells engulf and destroy microorganisms. In 1897 Masaki Ogata reported that rat fleas transmitted bubonic plague. Ending the centuries-old mystery of how plague was transmitted. The following year, Kiyoshi Shiga, 1871-1957, isolated the bacterium responsible for bacterial dysentery. This organism was eventually named Shigella dysenteriae. During the Golden Age of Microbiology Researchers identified the specific microorganism responsible for numerous infectious diseases. The following chart identifies many of these diseases, their infectious agent who discovered them and the year they were discovered who was the first scientist to be associated with plant tissue culture Tissue culture is a technique for growing fragments of plants in an artificial medium. The basis for tissue culture was proposed in 1902 by the German botanist Gottlieb Haberlandt. 1854-1945, who suggested that plant cells were totipotent. In this proposal, every cell has the same genes and the same genetic potential to make all cells other cell types. Botanists began testing Haberland's idea, and the proof of totipotency would be the regeneration of an entire plant from one or a few non-zygotic cells. The earliest experiments failed. Cultured cells remained alive for a short time but did not divide and soon died. How do cells respond to insulin? Protein-based hormones such as insulin bind to cell surface receptors. While they do not enter the cell, they cause changes in the cell's metabolism. Specific cells in the pancreas secrete insulin. A hormone that regulates the concentration of glucose in the blood. Skeletal muscles and the liver are targets for insulin. Insulin deficiency is responsible for type 1 diabetes. In contrast, type 2 diabetes, also known as adult onset diabetes mellitus is not the result of insulin deficiency but is rather due to insulin resistance. Cells with insulin resistance do not respond to increasing 
insulin levels by transporting glucose into cells. Are viruses living organisms? Viruses cannot grow or replicate on their own and are inert outside their living host cell. Once they enter a host cell they become active. As such, they are between life and non-life and are not considered living organisms. What is bioperacy? Bioperacy refers to the development of pharmaceutical products without compensation to the native communities that protected and nurtured the organisms on which these products are based. Which conifers in North America lose their leaves in winter? Don redwood trees, metasequoia, are deciduous. Their leaves are bright green in summer and turn coppery red in the fall before they drop. Previously known only as a fossil, the tree was found in China in 1941 and has been growing in the United States since the 1940s. The U.S. Department of Agriculture distributed seeds to experimental growers in the United States, and the Don Redwood tree now grows all over the country. The only native conifers that shed all of their leaves in the fall are the bald cypress, Taxidium distichum, and the larch, Larix larcina. What is unusual about the teeth of sharks? Sharks were among the first vertebrates to develop teeth. The teeth are not set into the jaw but rather sit atop it. They are not firmly anchored and are easily lost. The teeth are arranged in 6 to 20 rows. With the ones in front doing the biting and cutting. Behind these teeth. Others grow. When a tooth breaks or is worn down. A replacement moves forward. One shark may eventually develop and use more than 20,000 teeth in a lifetime. What is social Darwinism? Social Darwinism is one of a number of perversions of Darwin-Wallace theory. These movements attempt to use evolutionary mechanisms as excuses for social change. Followers of social Darwinism believe that the survival of the fittest applies to socio-economic environments as well as evolutionary ones. By this reasoning, the weak and the poor are unfit and should be allowed to die without societal intervention. This idea has nothing to do with Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace but was promoted by Herbert Spencer. 1820-1903, and is related to the works of Thomas Malthus, whose work did indeed inspire Darwin. Although social Darwinism has faded as a movement, 
it did help to spur the eugenics movement of Nazi Germany as well as a number of laws and policies in the United States in the 20th century. Why do animals that are round tend to show only very simple behaviors? Examples of round animals include members of the phylum Nidaria, hydras, jellyfishes, corals, and phylum Echinodermata, starfishes, sea urchins, sand dollars. An animal with radial symmetry usually has a nerve net that only allows very simple types of behavior. Animals that are round are usually sessile, i.e., non moving. This is in contrast to animals that display bilateral symmetry, in which there is a distinct head slash tail and in which the animals can be divided into different planes. Bilaterally symmetrical animals usually move in a specific direction. What is a goiter? A goiter is an enlargement of the thyroid gland caused by hypothyroidism, too little thyroxin. An insufficient dietary intake of iodine is a common cause of goiter. What is Franken food? Frankenfood is a term invented by environmental and health activist groups to denote any food that has been genetically modified. GM, or that contains genetically modified organisms, GMO. Opposition to GM food is based on concerns that the gene pool of natural plants could be altered permanently if exposed to pollen from genetically altered plants. There is also fear that people and animals that consume GM food might have allergic reactions to altered protein or could develop health problems later. What are some examples of genetic engineering in animals and microbes? One of the earliest applications of biotechnology was the genetic engineering of a growth hormone. Bovine GH, produced naturally in the bovine pituitary. Bovine GH can increase milk production in lactating cows. Using biotechnology, scientists bioengineered the gene that controls bovine GH production into E. Coli, grew the bacteria in fermentation chambers, and thus produced large quantities of bovine GH. The bioengineered bovine GH, when injected into lactating cows, resulted in an increase of up to 20% in national milk production. Using bovine GH, farmers are able to stabilize milk production in their herds. Avoiding fluctuations in production levels. A similar regimen was adapted using the pig equivalent of growth hormone, porcine GH. Injected in pigs, porcine GH reduced back fat and increased muscle, meat, gain. The first transgenic animal available as a food source on a large scale was the salmon. 
which reached U.S. food markets in 2001, following rigid evaluations of consumer and environmental safety. These salmon have the capability of growing from egg to market size, 6 to 10 pounds, in 18 months. As compared to conventional fish breeding, which takes up to 36 months to bring a fish to market size. The use of transgenic salmon can help reduce overfishing of wild salmon stocks. What is a restriction endonuclease? A restriction endonuclease is an enzyme that cleaves DNA at specific sites. Restriction enzymes are made by bacteria as a means of bacterial warfare against invading bacteriophages, viruses that infect bacteria. These enzymes are now used extensively in biotechnology to cleave DNA into shorter Fragments for analysis or to selectively cut plasmids so that foreign DNA can be inserted. What is a chemical bond? A chemical bond is an attraction between the electrons present. In the outermost energy level or shell of a particular atom. This outermost energy level is known as the valence shell. Atoms with an unfilled outer shell are less stable and tend to share, accept, or donate electrons. When this happens, a chemical bond is formed. In living systems, chemical reactions, supervised by enzymes, link atoms together to form molecules. Do bears in a zoo hibernate? Bears do not technically hibernate. In winter conditions they find protected areas like a cave or hollow. Log and conserve energy by taking extended naps, winter sleep. This is why it is always dangerous to disturb a wintering bear. Because it is merely napping, not hibernating. In zoos because temperatures in cages and enclosures remain warm throughout the year. And the bears have access to a food supply continually replenished by keepers, they remain active year-round. What is a biogeochemical cycle? The elements that organisms need most, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur, cycle through the physical environment, the organism, and then back to the environment. Each element has a distinctive cycle that depends on the physical and chemical properties of the element. Examples of biogeochemical cycles include the carbon and nitrogen cycles both of which have a prominent gaseous phase. Examples of biogeochemical cycles with a prominent geologic phase include phosphorus and sulfur, where a large portion of the element may be stored in ocean sediments. Examples of cycles with a prominent atmospheric phase include carbon and nitrogen.
Why are insects often found in amber? People have long been infatuated with amber, the fossilized form of ancient tree resin. A semi-precious stone used for jewelry and mosaics. Amber from the Dominican Republic contains an average of one insect in every hundred pieces. Some pieces of amber contain thousands of insects both whole insects and insect fragments. These insects were probably crawling or lodged on the outside of a tree. About 30 million years ago and became trapped by a glob of sticky tree resin. Which continued to ooze around the animal matter and eventually fossilized. Scientists are able to study these insects. Many of which are extinct but may turn out to be missing links to modern day species. Why do small animals not have a circulatory system? Smaller animals such as hydras do not have a separate circulatory system. Since their cells are able to efficiently exchange materials, nutrients, gases, and wastes, through diffusion. The cells of these animals are close to the surface and thus can exchange nutrients effectively. What are the functions of the cell membranes? Cell membranes define and compartmentalize space, regulate the flow of materials, detect external signals, and mediate interactions between cells. <laughs>